Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my take on a UK black girl's makeup, my edition. My eyes are green. The contacts are from Joshua Kira. I'll leave the link in my description. But the makeup is giving very feline. This is just my take on whatever makeup I do as a UK black girl, so you know. Whatever with the vibe. Yeah, I really hope you enjoy and keep on watching. So, I'm not gonna be doing, I'm not gonna do my base on camera because I have a whole video dedicated to that. So, I will leave the link in the description if you wanna see how to get a flawless base. I definitely recommend you guys go watch the video just so you can see all the products that I use to get my face looking like this. Do I film my eyebrows at all? We don't know. Do you guys find, see, see the point in one? Because I feel like my eyebrows always change. So if I film one, the next video my eyebrows will be different. I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you get a better view of my face. This is what I'm gonna start with for my lips. This is the Laneige Lip Steeper Mask. This, this is the bomb. If you want your lips to actually be soft and actually have no wrinkles and crinkles, you need to buy this. It may be the most expensive lip balm you've bought in your life, I swear. You will not regret it. What I'm actually going to be trying today, HMB Soft Focus, HMB Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation, which looks like this, that I got from the TikTok shop in the Black Friday sale. So I think it was like £10 when I got it when she was doing half price. Now I think it's £18. But if you want to see me properly put it on, review it and stuff, head over to my TikTok. I may have applied a bit too much foundation and the colour seems very off at the moment. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna trust the process. I really like the finish of the foundation. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna keep blending it into my skin. That's why with makeup, you just gotta keep blending. And because I think I applied a bit too much, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just dab it in. You know us, UK black girls, we love a good under eye. The under eye is the most important process in becoming the ultimate UK black girl. So, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna use this concealer. This is a very very good concealer so this is the color tan neutral what i'm going to do with this one i'm going to apply it right under my eyes as you can see it's like not too brightening okay i don't like to do a lot of layers of concealer so i kind of mix my highlighting one and my normal one together just to get one base i then take the same concealer in the shade light beige like this and i apply that right to the inner corners Apply some here, apply some here, and apply some here. First, let's not forget to contour. So, at the moment, I'm using the Be Perfect Cronzer. However, another alternative I have as well is this concealer from um, Barry M. This is the colour. I just put a few dots. And what colour is this? 19. Literally put it right into the contours of my cheeks like this. I'm gonna put some on my little forehead, not too much. I don't really like a dark forehead. I don't like a dark contour either at all. I hate a dark contour. So take my Olive Amelia Livia Glow Milk Mist and then put it on my brush just like this. And then start to blend the contour. As you can see, it's literally not dark at all. You can't tell right now, but it does its job, I swear. Just like that, put it all here. And whilst you're doing this, the concealer is setting. So what you're doing is you're letting the concealer get more fuller coverage. Guys, everything about doing your makeup is a process. It's all a process. The new blush combo. This is the first shade. The first shade is the shade Mango Daiquiri. What you're gonna do, you're gonna put this one right at the top of your cheeks. So here, literally dab it on. Because it's not as um, pigmented as the other colors, I do have to dab on quite a bit. I dab it on right here. And right here so the very highest points of my cheek then i take the p louise cheek of it blush in the shade melon sorbet no no this is coral morals yeah coral morals i'm gonna do it and apply it right here right here guys this blush combination is gonna have your cheeks looking fire i swear it's, it's gonna look so good just bear with me yeah guys I can't find my blush brush. Right here. This is a brush I use. It's a flat top brush from Primark. It's the 110 foundation and contour brush. So I keep looking in the mirror eyes because that's the mirror. That's how I'm seeing the back camera. Start out by blending the orange blush out to the back. You can see it's not the most pigmented, but it gives like an orange, an orange flush, yeah? So blend that out towards the back, just like this. Yeah, oh, I love the color. Now slowly start to bring in the pink. Oh my God, look at that blend. Can you see the blend? 
Can you see the blend? Can you see the blend? Wow, I know. I know, guys. Don't tell me I didn't just put you on the, the best. Look at that. It looks like a safari desert on your cheeks and it's so warm. Now I'm gonna start to blend out the concealer. I start blending out from the bottom and just dab it. Dab it, yeah? Just dab it. And if your sponge is a bit dry, just literally moisten it up with some of this. In my hair. And I like dab it up into the tops of my nose. Like this. Before I get to under my eyes, this is the powder I'm going to use. It's the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder in the shade 03 Banana. That's what I'm going to be using under my eyes today. It's, it's, it's great. Start with the outer colour and start by blending that. And I make sure to go all the way out. I'm going to bring it all the way out. This will give you that, see? Give you that wing, the cat eye. The sharpness that you want. Okay, now bring it all the way up under your eyes. All the way up. And I just slowly start to now blend the bright colour. Because I can't really see. Can you, can you guys see how bright the under eye is? Yeah? Okay. Guys, you want to keep blending. You haven't blended enough. You want to just keep blending. Just keep patting. Keep blending. Don't stop. And that's at the back of the sponge. I take my powder, dust it off, and I kind of press it into the back of my hand. So, painted by Spencer, he said, yeah, you need to set, then bake. So, pat it off, look up, and then I set my under eye like this. Look at that. Can you see this? Are you seeing that? Did you see what just happened there? Perfection. Per Yes. Repeat again. So start on the outer corners and then just start blending out and start dragging the concealer as far up as you can go. And then just start blending out. And guys, you can make your concealer a bit lighter. It just depends how bright you like your under eye. Clearly, I love a good bright under eye. So. <laughs> powder dab on the back of your hand just to get off any excess okay and this is you setting your under eyes this is not you baking you're setting them as you can see I'm just setting them yeah just like that and I'm going to set the rest of my face as well with the same powder can you see that do you see how like put scale on my face is okay now with any remaining on my hand I'm just gonna take it and start to set the center of my face because it gets a bit oily and my eyebrows as well just like that okay just like that it'll make us looking good looking good okay and now I'm gonna go and set my smile lines as well because my smile lines get extra smile liney now what I'm gonna do to brighten up my under eye because it's been set but it's not very bright anymore. This is a Ken Beauty Soft Set Powder in the shade Canary. What I do now is I take this on a smaller brush like this and I put that right into the center of my under eyes. Right here. This y'all, this is gonna give you the bright under eye. You need to get a brighter powder. Imagine this, you've used a white concealer but you, then you've set it with a yellow base powder so essentially you basically made the bright concealer darker so you need to lighten it back up again with powder so always have a bright a brighter powder on standby and with this i kind of contour my nose as well slightly right here you basically want to want to focus it in like the center of your face so then i put a little bit here And then a little bit here. Once you're done with this video, your makeup isn't giving UK black girl. That's something to do with you. So guys, as you can see, I don't have any lashes. 
So I'm gonna take these lashes that I got from IC Hair. I did a hair collab, and I'm gonna cut them in half and make them into half lashes because I don't do, <laughs> I don't do the long eyelash thing. And these are all 25 mm, I reckon. So we've got the lash on. It's giving very much Vogue. Right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start setting all the powder. So I'm gonna do my blush first. I'm pretty sure, my, okay, here it is. So it's the same blush I always use. This is the, Revolu the XX Revolution blush in the shade Cliche. Really, I should name this video how to look like a UK black on a budget because I don't think I've used any high-end makeup here at all. So I'm really helping the girls, period. I'm just gonna set my blush. Guys, never be scared to put on blush because blush is the first thing that comes off your makeup every time you go out. So just don't be scared to put on blush. Recently, I haven't been putting on too much bronzer because I feel like my bronzer is very red toned. I'm looking for like a more um, warm toned bronzer, but you know, I feel like UK girls love Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami, which I used to love as well, but um, I don't know where it is. So I'm mainly gonna use it to bronze up my forehead really but as you can see it's like slightly red but i feel like it ties in with the look a bit i'm going to take a smaller brush fuck it actually i'm going to use the same brush and like pinch it and lightly go over my nose ever so lightly just to like avoid any harsh colors mm, yeah i like that this brush is necessity if you're if you're really going to be a uk black girl there's like a starter kit this brush is in the starter kit it's the Real Technique setting brush. I don't know what number it is anymore because it's literally rubbed off. But I promise you, there is no other powder brush like this one that is better for your under eyes. There, there, there's not one. I'm gonna just start by dusting off this base. As you can see, see how it's left like this nice bright shadow. No flashback, just a good bright shadow. I'm gonna just start by brushing it off like this and then taking it. Can you see how it's left this brightness under my eyes? It's absolutely amazing. I swear. This is the brush that you need. Guys, look at that. See how it's literally highlighted the very center of my face? That's what you want. We love that, we need that, we want that. <laughs> Just like that, period. Woo, the makeup is looking fierce. So guys, everybody's different. I really don't like anything under my eyes. I like a really plain, smooth under eye. But at this point, you can add mascara, eyeliner, whatever you like. I'm not the biggest fan. But what I am the biggest fan of doing recently, taking a palette like this. This is the Be Perfect Carnival palette. And I'm gonna take the shade, the shade Dwindle. If you know what Dwindle is, I'm gonna take the shade Dwindle. And I'm gonna put that right in the inner corners of my eyes. Can you guys see that? Let me do it closer to the camera so you guys can see. So literally right here. I feel like it's so stunning. I feel like it makes you look so awake. It's so cute, look at that. Can you see, it just adds a bit of sparkle and something to your eyes. This is totally optional. It all depends on the player. We're on to the last few steps. We're gonna go in with some setting spray. This is again, the Amelia Live Your Glow Milk Mist. I wanna dredge my face in this, but I'm gonna have to hold my hair out my face because it always gets wet when I do this and I don't want it to get wet. So, give it a good shake. Guys, I drench my face in setting spray. Now, whilst the setting spray is doing its thing, I'm literally gonna, why has it gone black? I'm gonna take my sponge and like press the setting spray into my face. Not too much around my cheeks, just around like this area, just to let it really do its thing. I don't know what it does, it just does something, guys. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Now, everyone's lip combo is different. I've been doing the same one for years now. I'm gonna take the lip liner from Essence. This is a long lasting eye pencil. Looks like this. I'm gonna line my lips. I don't ever line my lips at all. Literally just line them. Now, what should I do with my lips? Do you know what, F it. I'm gonna take the Ken Beauty Lip Gloss. This is a shade Butterscotch. Love this color. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Look 
because it's not too like bright. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this Kiko 3D Hydro Gloss in the shade 08, mine is Manky, and then just go like this. And then just stick my finger through here and then top it off with some of the Refi lip gloss because this gloss is stunning. I hit it right in the center. And this is my lip combo. I don't do too much. I want to come back when I'm all done, but mm, the makeup is giving lights out. This is my version of a UK black girl's makeup. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a big, massive thumbs up, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel for more content because we've been consistent for a very long time now. And I really hope you guys appreciate this. So yeah, 